Wainaina in that order. Uh, Ma you. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, I don't know whether I'm in order. The Honorable Kombe Mze, and with a lot of respect to him because he's one of the oldest members in this house, if you allow, Madam Speaker. So we start with the Honorable Z Zambia. You have donated your eight minutes. You'll have only two minutes for yourself. Proceed, Honorable Zambia. Please uh, give the Honorable Zambia the mic. Oh, thank you, Member Madam Speaker. Kilome. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for this opportunity. I rise to support this motion. And uh, let me uh, note that this is not the first time we are debating on this uh, motion. Uh, in, the 11, in the 12th Parliament, we discussed and we debated on it. So it's my sincere hope that uh, this 13th Parliament will move with speed and implement uh, uh, this, uh, this motion so that we can benefit uh, the village elders. I think uh, most of the members have uh, really expressed their concern about our village elders. You know, they play a very crucial role in our villages, in our community. Uh, Honorable Speaker, uh, in, in, in terms of security, in the matters of, of security, in every village, we are fully covered by the village elders because they convey a lot of information from the grassroots level to even to the national level. That is through the assistant chiefs. The Honorable Dindi Nyoro. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And I start by congratulating my brother, Honorable Mutuse, for this motion. Second, Madam Speaker, is that our village elders, whichever name we give them from Yubakumi, they play a very critical role in so far as governance is concerned. And therefore, Madam Speaker, we should be able to appropriate something small for their stipend, and especially to be able to make phone calls in terms of credit and in terms of transport when they are going for various meetings, even to meet GAO officials, Mr. Uh, Madam Speaker. Also, we should invest a lot in terms of capacity building so that they are able to know how efficiently they can be able to assist in terms of the governance and the state structure so that it is also effective. Madam Speaker, also, they play a very critical role in terms of security and other facets of our economy and country, Madam Speaker, and therefore should also be recognized when we are giving state accommodations so that it comes in as a... The Honorable Mal Malulu Ijendi. Honorable I, I, absent. The Honorable Beatrice. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I want to support the motion by saying that the village managers, and I'm a product of, of, of one of them. My father was a village manager. My father-in-law was also a village manager. First, I want to say that they deserve recognition as they are among the few civil servants, Madam Speaker, whose input is reflected or who's, who have inputs who are reflected in all the three arms of government. For example, in the executive, Madam Speaker, they carry the roles of uh, disseminating information from the government about education, about uh, health, issues of health, environmental conservation, and all that. I would also say that, Madam Speaker, that uh, the village manager my brother that this motion is not appearing in this house for the first time it was there even in the 11th parliament but it did not go anywhere but i'm happy because i'll be praying for dinner to become the budget the chairman of budget and he is here i think we can now push it to another level noting that the government we have is bottom up. Madam Speaker, I also want to thank uh, all members who are 
or who, who took their oath today, and because we know that the government will start working, we also want to uh, thank the selection committee for formulating the committee they did. So from next week, we'll be start working in the, the committees. I thank you. The Honorable Njoroge Wainaina. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm sure this one also, I'll get the benefit of uh, having the maiden speech. I've not had one. I first of all thank uh, Mut uh, Honorable Mutuse for seeing me and uh, noticing my presence, where the speakers have not been able to have not been able to catch any eye of the speaker, inclusive you. Uh, in any case, and for the ben uh, for that benefit, I would want to first of all thank the people of Kenya who came out in thousands. They supported me and they voted for me. And I really want to tell them I am with them. I'm in this parliament. I'm with them during this time of famine, great famine in Kenya. I am with them. We are looking for food in every way possible. I am with our candidates in class six, class eight, and form four. I am with them. I know they are going through hard times, uh, going to school without food, but uh, we are still working on that. However, on matters of this uh, debate that is in front of us today, uh, only one minute had been donated to you by the Honorable Mutuse, but I can see that 